Welcome back to another episode of Front Me Till Friday. Hey. Birthday edition, boy. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Give Jake some money. Happy birthday. My cash app is money sign half baked Jake. Oh, mine's tits 6597. (laughs) <laughs> or something like that. Too. For real, for real? I don't know. It's I love that. Like that. Shout out to uh, Class Pravada for making this whole thing happen. Shout out to my boy, He Hate Me 507, for yes, the for the generous donations for the equipment. The equipment. He made some. Uh, he made some uh, equipment donations. Interesting. To my cash app. Wow. To help pay back some of the budget of so. me going into debt, and I really, really, really appreciate that. Right. I appreciate West Coast Dick. I appreciate Chris Carswell. I appreciate uh, John. You know who you are. Appreciate Rolando. Appreciate everybody. I'm grateful for everybody. I appreciate the RU Garbage guys for giving me a ticket for my birthday on Thursday at Town Hall, baby. That's right. That's Town right. Town Hall. Town Hall. It's on 43rd. It's like off Broadway. Okay. Yeah, it's nice. pretty cool. Is it's it a, a theater? Yeah, it's going to be a live RU Garbage, live comedy, live all that. Podcast? They're going to do a podcast too? I don't know if it's a podcast. They're going to do a live stand-up and then play Are You Garbage with the, um, oh, the crowd. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. So gotcha. not like a full live pot, you know what I mean? Right. But it'll uh, be fun. That'll be fun. How's everybody doing? How you doing, Rolly? Good. He's doing great. He He's, pulled up uh, like Lance Lance Armstrong, man. Yeah, you got you to gotta let. The, you gotta <laughs> step right here for a second. Just let the people take, know. You got to take the shorts off. Well, no, not he exactly. He wasn't wearing those shorts. Well, look, he, he looks like Lance shorts, so. <laughs> What's up, guys? This is Rolando, the young bull. He's the best. Yeah. He is the best. Rolando. He's Happy birthday, Jake. A bag oh, of weed? you got me an edible. Wow. Ah. So it's a pre- cake. It's a cake. Yeah, it's a, a fruity, uh, Jake fruity, loves cakes. fruity, frosty pebble. Ooh. Fruity pebbles. I'm going to eat this later. Thank you, bro. From Mexico? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> is it from Mexico? <laughs> that he, was in his ass. <laughs> but Rolando's <laughs> been hanging out with a girl the past couple of days. Boo. Girls are gay. Come on. <laughs> But no, you've been. Uh, you should be thinking of war. <laughs> Speaking of war, what is it? Good Cinco de Mayo. Oh yeah, a war that was fought in Puebla, Mexico. Right, the only war that Mexico really ever won. So yeah, that's why it's Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo, though. Yeah, I always thought it was um, the one in September. Mexican Independence Day was the real yeah. one. Independence, but independence uh, from what? Spain, right? Spain. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Cool. 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 Your people. Well, all I cool. well close, yeah. Close. All I know is uh, Canelo made me some money. So Canelo made you money. Viva Mexico! I didn't even watch the fight. I went to bed. Nice. But I woke up to some money, which is nice. Like, we went uh, out. We went out yeah. to a little uh, little Mexican restaurant, Picante, uptown, up by you. Um, mm. And the, the owner was like, you know, manager gave us a couple shots. We had a picture really? of Marks. The owner came out and gave us T-shirts. Nice. <laughs> it was pretty cool. It was a good time. Yeah, T-shirts. Like they're uh, like they're. Their business T-shirts, like their their staff shirts, to say picante ah, on them and stuff. Yeah, they didn't even get like cool ones, like Cinco de Drinco shirts. Dude, don't say that. Why? That is so annoying. It's bro. dumb, right? My Cinco lady de Drinco? would not stop saying Cinco de Drinco, yeah. Cinco de Drinco. You gotta hit them when they do that. You gotta. It, it took every. <laughs> if we if we weren't in public, I would have hit her. I swear to God. <coughs> I would have hit her. Sometimes you got to do it in public. Sometimes you got to make an example and say, "Listen, listen, you fuck." <laughs> <old." laughs> yeah. Did you press the thing this time? We're good, right? No, we're good to go. Okay, we're, okay. Recording okay. over there, Rolando, because you know I will what? Fuck your sweet ass. I will kill you. And fuck you till you love me. <laughs> yeah, I will. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of Mike Tyson, look at him. Speaking of Iron Mike Tyson, he's in the building. We're live. Oh, I didn't even tell anybody where we're from. We're live from Central Park, 81st Street. Yeah. 81st Street. Somewhere we came a long way from Brownsville Projects <laughs> in Brooklyn. This is how kind of Mike Tyson really talks. Yeah, kind of. It's fucked up, but he'll beat the set out of you. Yeah, still. It's crazy. Still. It's crazy. If, crazy. If you're not Jake Paul. Jake Paul, take Paul, fake Paul, rake Paul. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be, people aren't going to like it, but. Um, you think, you think he's, Jake Paul's probably going to beat him. Why do you say that? Why do you think that? Because Mike Tyson's old. I don't care. <laughs> I know. I don't care either. He's Iron like, Mike. But that's because we don't fight. Yeah, that's true. You know what I'm saying? Jake that Paul's been fighting people. Jake Paul is, is uh, even though he's annoying and a, and a pussy. i got to share the name with that fight. dickhead. He d- yeah, yeah, yeah. You do. And almost a hair color. And almost a face. 
Well, yeah. he looks much better, actually. <laughs> well, he's doing, yeah, he's doing a lot better than you as well. <laughs> come, come on, come on! Why rub it in on my birthday? Oh, he's my. about to knock out Mike Tyson. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I would no, love to get knocked out by Mike Tyson. Well, I might die. Yeah, you might be the only one that might love love that. Well, I'm just because I know that he might have the the most sound bites of anybody ever, like the most funnest, most outlandish, unhinged sound bites ever. Yeah. You can go to through all his shit, and it's just like, yeah, something horrifying every single time. My offense is impenetrable. My yeah. defense is impeccable. Yeah, <laughs> what yeah. does he say? My, what does he say? My style is impetuous. <laughs> My defense is impregnable. <laughs> I'm ferocious. I want your heart. I want to eat your you children. children. <laughs> Praise be to Allah. <laughs> You're like God. Jesus, dude. <laughs> All the dude asked was if that was your easiest fight. Huh? Take it easy. It was the easiest question. The guy but, was like, so is this, uh, was this uh, your easiest fight, would you say? And he did that, and then he looks at him and goes, what? What? <laughs> so the guy's like, was that your easiest fight? <laughs> <laughs> but if you, uh, you read his book, right? No, 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 no. I read his book. It was I incredible. watched, I liked the Undisputed Truth thing, the one-man show that he was doing. That That's was a lot the book. Of fun. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. the book. That's what it's called. Yeah, the yeah. show the, when, the, when he was on HBO doing that. Oh, word. I yeah. never do that. I wish I wish I would have seen that. You could probably find it somewhere illegal. <laughs> but look, we're just riffing, guys. Yeah, a little family episode. Lollygagging. It's my birthday. Do you have? Do you make a big deal about your birthday? No, no, uh, not really. I don't. Uh, I don't even really mention it. Last year, I worked all day on my birthday. Well, it's funny you say that. I worked all, which is yeah. You're going to be doing that too. Yeah, I. Uh, we're doing a podcast right now. It's about. I don't know what time it is. Fucking one thirty or no? It's probably about one o'clock. We no, met one. up early today. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's probably creeping up on one. I got to be out of here at two thirty at the latest. Doesn't stop. Shoot back up town. Drop the shit off at three. Get get to work at three thirty, three forty five at the latest. People need drinks. Um, this guy's got to get them to him. Yeah, no. I'm serving tables today, which is what you do on your birthday, especially when you're trying to save money. You know what I mean? All right. So since it's your birthday, we might as well we might as well do a little game. Let's do it. All right. I like games. I like yeah, games. Yeah, I don't yeah. have to think of. Let's do. Um, we'll do best and worst birthday. See, I was going to ask you something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you first. It's your birthday today. Um. So, so you're, let's do best first. Let's do because. So I'll go. One of the best gifts I actually ever got was last year, okay. which was. Uh, you remember I would I used to wear that leather bag across my chest all the time mm-hmm. like when I worked, my my girl bought me that and I uh, shed it I shed a tear shed Cause a tear it, well because it was such a nice thoughtful gift and I really uh, enjoyed it and like I, it was you know it was just the timing of it all I was very 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 happy with the gift that is nice it was nice you get a nice bag you can carry shit some paraphernalia <laughs> well yeah, that's exactly what it, so here's the thing filled I, with paraphernalia I always have headphones with me headphones like this. So, and I didn't, in the summertime, you don't really want to carry a book bag so much. Mm. What do you call it? A book bag or a backpack? Back, I, I go backpack. I go book bag, I think. We also call water fountains bubbles. Bubblers, yeah, that's great. Uh, yeah. You in Wisconsin, I don't get it. It's but, weird. But the bag was really nice because I'm always wearing my headphones and I take them to and fro to work and joints, etc. So, I was wearing like a cheap one and she bought me my first nice one. Yeah. Really meant a lot to me, you know what I mean? Man needs a bag. Man needs a good bag. And since, then... Since the dawn of time. Also... One of the best actual uh, <laughs> birthdays I actually went to was, I'd say about five or six years ago, there's a band called the Merry Pranksters from Louisville, Kentucky, and they do Grateful Dead stuff and all that. And the organ player, his name is Bob Ramsey. He's been playing the organ at Louisville Slugger Field for the minor league Louisville River Bats for 20 years or some shit, 30 that's, years. That's got to be a, a, a show He's to the, go to those games. Oh, it's fun. As someone that like has never been, yeah, like to if if you're like an alien life form and <laughs> you just came to Earth, you gotta and you want to know about America, you should probably go to that. The Louisville River Bats <laughs> game, <laughs> just that name. This is the they'd be like, what is a liver a river bat? <laughs> yeah, that's us, dog. What but, is a river bat? But um, <laughs> but anyway, he was the organist. Okay, and he played, dun, 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 you know, and yeah, the thing. yeah, yeah. He got me tickets behind home plate, oh. and then on the jumbotron it said "Happy Birthday, Jake" and all that. Wow, and it was really tight. And it was also that is nice. It was very cool. It was also bring your dog to the park day, so it was just like mad dogs running around. Pretty cool. You like that? I, well, I mean, I had a good time. You get to go to the ball game. You get and your name dogs. on the jumbotron. 
It's happy birthday, Jake Morris. And that's very that that's nice. Yeah, dude. Yeah. And then you get to walk around, pet all the fucking cool dogs. Yeah, it was pretty good. You like the dogs? I think I ate a little mushrooms or something. See, the dogs, I I would have uh, that would have ruined my birthday. See, <laughs> everything else would have been undermined. I would have been like, why are there so many dogs? I'm upset. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's <laughs> thanks for fucking my day up. <laughs> the dogs are the best, man. The dog, I love fucking. You know, we got a big dog. We got three legged cat. Yeah, oh, of course. You know, you know what's going on here. We love the dogs. Yeah. But what about you? What about some of your best and worst? One of my uh, favorite birthdays, I think it, it had to have been my 18th, if I had to guess. Mm-hmm. 18th, uh, because we it was right toward the No, it was, it was 17th. That's what it was. Because we would have been done in, in school as seniors by the 5th of June, which is my birthday. Uh, can, but, I inter- can I interject for one second? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Close second, 21st birthday, my stepdad took me and my stepbrother to the, the gambling boat and all that stuff. I wanted a bunch of money. The gambling boat? The, the boat. River boat gambling? Caesars. Wow. Yeah, they have to do it on the border between Kentucky and Indiana. Technically, it's in the boat on the oh, river. Doesn't that's matter. awesome. Anyway. That's, but I, I, I want to hear more about that before yeah, I keep we're going. just hanging out. All my mm. other brothers are losers. They lose their fucking dick off. Mm. I fucking do pretty good when I gamble. <laughs> yeah. I want to gamble on a boat that you shouldn't. That's like in between the law. <laughs> yeah, well, no, yeah, that's what it is. It's like on, so you have that to dr- like fun. You have to drive. They do it here. That's why there's like right. They do it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, they do do it here. Do do, but, it's, <laughs> but it's too uh, it's too high class. I want to be like Mark Twain on the Mississippi. Yeah. Dog Caesars, Indiana. Yeah, it's a show, dog. There's uh, some there's some characters. I there's some that. creatures. I want Atlantic City on a fucking boat. Dude, there's like a million kids back there. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's hunting season. Dude, this <laughs> dude, in my neighborhood, I remember a few months ago, it was, uh, there was tons, like like that, like tons, mm-hmm. of, more than that probably, tons of kids that all looked like they were in school and they were like led by faculty. Yeah. And they were protesting. But they were all like pro. T- they were kids, like like elementary school kids. Mm-hmm. But they were all protesting like different things. Like they had signs that said like BLM. Someone else said free Palestine. Someone else said free this and blah. blah. It was all all over the place, and huh. it was weird because it seemed like it was a uh, like a class or like a project. They're like this is how we're going to learn how to protest. What is that class? Get on my fucking nerves, one hundred and one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's uh, uh, this annoying is, as shit. Yeah. This is commie class. Yes. You guys ready for commie class? I mean, and I was in Bed Stuy. That's not even like. Yeah. That's how Nowhere deep to be the whites have been protesting. Yeah. Like, but. So, Tim, do my ass hurt so bad already from sitting on this? Oh, uh, well, we got a long time, but. My ass is getting pounded. Don't think about it. <laughs> <laughs> so, best birthday for me. Sorry. It's a pretty black dog. That is a nice black dog. I bet I have a higher credit score than <laughs> Black dog. <day. laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, mama. Um, um, uh, your birthday. Best birthday. Okay, so, so I think it was my 17th. We skipped uh, school. Love that. And we went to the beach, which is the thing to do in uh, Rhode Island in general, but especially if you're in high school. Okay. Because maybe one or two of us have a car. Yeah. And uh, How far is the beach? Um, Probably 35 minutes, Ain't 40 too bad. minutes, Ain't something too bad. like that. It's enough to make it a thing, but not enough to make it a whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. we all went there. We skipped school. We went there, and uh, we got real high all day. We stayed there for, like, a really long time. It was really nice. There was a, it was a bunch of my – there might have been maybe seven of us, six or seven of us, and they were all, like, close friends, and we all agreed to just skip sc- – you know how it is at the, yeah, end yeah. Of the end of the – not is it semester? and Whatever. It doesn't matter. What, in Kentucky? Is that what you are going to say? Yeah, we don't, like, do we they don't call have nor- it, what do they call it down there? <laughs> like, we don't have normal schoolings mm. and – Semesters and periods and shit? No, I meant uh, in high school. They call it a semester. I forget. Uh, I don't know. You want to know something? You know Quarter, about, maybe? You know I only went to ninth grade, right? Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. I only went to ninth grade. <laughs> what <then>. the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I'm really skating by. I had no my clue. Teeth here. I'm, all, I'm, I'm self- uh, Do you have a GED? Self-taught, yeah. Okay. I have a GED. I have a couple college credits under my belt, but I went to military school after my ninth grade because I was fucking off so hard. Damn. And then I went to military school, and then I, at 16. They don't give you a high school diploma in military school? Well, I got my GED. I passed it first test, or first round. I did pretty good on the ACT first round. Yeah. I'm I'm pretty smart. I I gathered all I needed to know, I guess. Yeah, I mean, school's. 
you school's know, objectively nothing good. bullshit. And I just go on YouTube and learn about all the history and That's science all you and do. stuff. That's what you got to do. Just go to YouTube. I know about everything already. Chat GPT. What do you got to learn? Yeah. Nothing to learn. Pornhub. What do you got to learn? It's already there. I go to X and XX. No, but yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all I, you need. I'm an X and XX guy. What do you jerk off to? You learn thoughts. For, you don't watch porn? I don't watch porn. Yeah, I, I do it very. Sp- I shouldn't say I don't. I, I do it very sparingly. Yeah. It's like a guilty. Pleasure. Oh yeah, we we already talked about this because I remember using that word. It's like a guilty. Uh, yeah. You know, it's like a Lucy. It'll you smoke a cig. It'll ruin you. I had a couple cigs last night. Did you? Because I was had a couple drinks, didn't you? I did. I was at the stand. That doesn't happen often. That doesn't happen often. Yeah. Uh, I was at the stand NYC, the the comedy club. Yeah. And uh, Rolando's like way back there taking pictures. Uh, I was at the stand. Get my tattoo, Rolando. Get my cool gorilla tattoo on my back. And uh, so Big J is in L.A. Yeah. He's uh, doing Netflix as a joke. He's doing bonfire stuff. He's in L.A. for the week. Whatever. Cool. No biggie. Dave Smith was on his way from Spokane, Washington, all the way on the other side of the damn country. And... uh, uh, he didn't out, kill himself while he was Shout there? out to my boys in Washington. You know who you are. You have some? I have a. I got a whole clan in Seattle that will come after you, dog. Oh, I got clan. A, <laughs> clan with a C. <laughs> All right. Good people. Like but, a uh, samurai. Shout out to the Dev fam. Shout out Herb's House. If you're ever in Ballard, if you're ever in Ballard, Seattle, go to Herb's House. Jeez. Drop the name Jake Too Baked, and uh, something cool will happen. Discount at least maybe ten percent. Huh? Huh? Suck, they'll suck your dick, Rolanda said. Yeah, yeah. they'll suck your dick. Yeah. yeah. Go, my friend, That's my the Jake special. <laughs> my friend Devin will suck your dick. Or my friend Tristan. <laughs> but he'll put on a, a wig that's like your hair, so it's like you're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> but, but anyway, he was coming from Spokane, how it's pronounced. Yes. Um, and his flight got pushed back last minute. Oh. So they can't do a live podcast with one out of the three. It's kind of off. Okay. But So they did a stand-up show. And it was they did a a, a, a a Legion of Skanks and Friends like a Luis J Gomez oh, and Friends. Yeah. It was a uh, and pop- they just live stream that. I don't even think they're live streaming. They're gonna oh. record. I think they're gonna record a whole other um a whole other LOS in the studio on, probably. You know? Oh really? Yeah, probably tomorrow or the next day we'll make one in the studio. Huh. Maybe I'll go infiltrate that. That'll be gay. fun. Yeah. But long story short, they gave you some beverages. Or you got some beverages? The bartender gave me some beverages. Uh, yeah, yeah. Nice. Uh, I, was, I was actually, at first, I was like, fuck, man. Because on, look at Cardinal. But uh, it's supposed to be good luck he's gonna be a, He's going to be one of the new popes. Yeah. That particular Cardinal. Larry Fitzgerald, <laughs> tell you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Brian Brom from the Louisville Cardinals. Yeah. But, uh, <clears throat> no, the bartender, Mikey, shout out Mikey at the stand. Give me a couple birthday drinks. I had about three. I had an espresso martini. Oh, like Bailey's? A, no Bailey's? Oh, I had four drinks. That's I had rare, a, guys. Yeah, yeah. Jake doesn't. Uh, he doesn't engage. I used. I do. I used. I, I'm not afraid or anything. I used to go heavy. <laughs> I'm not afraid. Heavy. Heavy He'll take on a the, stand on, on the booth. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> but uh, he's at the stand. <laughs> yeah, everybody. <laughs> um. But no, I used to booze a lot, but I'm just I'm not productive when I'm boozing, and now I got to be really productive. I'm shooting here, I'm shooting there. No time for hangovers, no time for cocaine. See, Even, I feel uh, I feel the opposite. I feel less productive without booze. That's is that bad? That's the dumbest that's shit I've ever heard. That's not a smart thing to say, right? The only time <laughs> <laughs> it's really not. That's not a good look. <laughs> the only time I'm going on almost four weeks. You're doing pretty good. Well, I'm gonna. I mean, I'm going back for sure. You're gonna fucking relapse. <sighs> I'm go. It's not a relapse. junkie. I did it on purpose. He's shaking. <laughs> I did. I had booze shakes once. You know, my dad. We gotta. We, it's always. We gotta talk about my dad. I need to meet your dad. He uh, one time. It was one of his. I forgot what birthday it was, and we went out to eat, and uh, he got a martini, like some, to open up the the meal. He got like some f- desserty martini, some gotcha. raspberry fucking thing. <laughs> and it was like full to the top, yeah. and he was trying to grab it, and his hands were like shaking, and he's like, ah, he had to like put it down, and uh, he looked at me, and he's like, uh, he's like, you know, it's it's messed up, but if I get a sip off this, I'll be able to pick this drink up. I know, I know, I've seen the people, and like he videos. like slid it <laughs> to him on the table. He did one of these. He's like. <laughs> And he's like, mm, it's, pretty, it's pretty good. This is good. And then he was able to do it. I was like, wow. He was like, ah, magic trick. Yeah. Really? Is that what he said? Uh, more or less. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
more or less. Alcohol, I'm an alcoholic. Look, yeah, yeah, Rolando yeah. is not in, interested today. Well, he doesn't need to be the, today, but last week, obviously, he needed to be on high alert for oh, us. Oh, yeah, that's true. Take, take the day off. Take a laugh. <laughs> he could take cool pictures. He's, like, getting, like, 30 feet away from the camera taking pictures, which there's nothing around. As you can see, we're in beautiful Central Park, Upper West Side, 81st Street. Yeah. There's mad kids. There's people tanning. There's Complete switch from last. Last week was like we were in a cage with a bear. Mm-hmm. We just, <laughs> we were like. Last week was wild. <laughs> My bodega's been killing it on the weed. Lately. That weed tastes so good. It's from the bodega. Yeah, it's so good, too. <laughs> um, What was I going to say? Rolando. Oh, we need a pan, right? We're in well, the middle of the trees. <laughs> fuck it. Give him a pan. Give Still him a pan. pan. Give him a pan over, to, over this way first, I think, to the rocks. I don't think they'll be able to see it, but on the other side of this massive tree that Rolando will go past eventually, mm-hmm. there's uh, there's one of those bridges that people get murdered on or <laughs> under. Yeah. One of the bridges where people get murdered <laughs> under. It's uh, uh, those are all throughout this park. There's a bunch of them. Like like bridges. Those little bridges that. Yeah. It's it's either in real life someone gets murdered or uh, Law and Order. Like Law and Order, yeah. Well, we should apply to be extras in Law and Order. Oh, you probably have to take you have to take a bunch of time out of your day and not get paid that much. Uh, I mean, as an extra, you probably get paid like one fifty, and you're there for, I don't know, it's like a work day. I'm d- it's if, like a if shift. It, if it's one fifty, it is one fifty. Then I'm down. It's something I'm along down. those lines. All right, back if you here, get a Rolando. speaking role, it's hey, like Rolando, don't get don't try not to get as much as m- of my legs. They're so white. You don't so like your pasty. legs. You got tattoos and shit. Well, they're just they're just white and pasty. Yeah, close my legs. Yeah. No, I mean, like, I don't know. So, okay, let's get a bad birthday. What You're was good. Sh- You're good. You don't have to pan it up like crazy. What was a shitty birthday? So, I have, a, I have a bad memory. I don't have a good memory. They're yeah, all just kind of blurry. I'm trying to think of one myself. I was in, uh, I remember one year we Right did. now with you? <laughs> <laughs> this is Jake's worst, worst birthday. I'm having a pretty shitty time right now hanging out B- with you. Bumbling on a, in a microphone <laughs> in a park. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is pretty horrible. No, one year I had my birthday party at Papa John's. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a Papa John's in a strip mall next to like an eye party and a, and a fuck, which is a dead business, <laughs> and like a CVS. And uh, next to it was a Papa John's. And it was a decent turnout. I mean, I was a child, but it was a decent turnout. We had a few people, but the funnest part was uh, the whole selling point when my mom was like, we should have it at Papa John's. <laughs> the whole selling point was that they let me make my own pizza. Oh. So I was like, uh, all right, this is kind of cool. It's like Seinfeld. You get to you know? make your own pie. I'm like eight or something. I don't know what when this was. That is cool, though, to be to be like that young and be able to make like a pizza pie. Yeah. Exactly. And yeah. I went in the, in the back. I made my own shit. I put everything I wanted on it. and uh, Pepperoni, and- heavy cheese. Uh, I put like everything, dude. So I was a fucking fat ass kid. <laughs> you still are. I was. <laughs> that's why when I look at myself in the mirror and there's just like a little bit of fat on my side, I'm like, you fucking <laughs> disgusting pig, <laughs> you sloppy fuck. Why did you eat those chips three weeks ago, you monster? <laughs> I, I need to shame myself more. I'm yeah. horrible. I, last night, what I eat last night? Oh, I eat garbage, fairly often. I mean, I eat good during the day, but at night. When I'm high, it's it's like that Bill Burr bit when he's like, I had a fat roommate, and he's like, you see him during the day, and you wonder, how the fuck is this guy fat? And then at night, you fucking, it hits midnight, and you hear bags opening and noises, and the guy's going crazy, you know. I had spicy chicken tenders last night at midnight. Yeah, and you go right to sleep like From a the fucking baby, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me too. It's <laughs> fucking bad. <laughs> and usually I top it off with like a candy bar too. Yeah, oh yeah, you need sweet. <laughs> you're, you're like that. Yeah, bad. Yeah, oh, that's, this I just exercise. So look, this is why I realized, <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I don't. I, that's why these walking tours are doing me good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you have the discipline. You go train jujitsu, you'll go train... Yeah, but that's since I'm a, I'm a baby. I've been doing that shit since I'm five. Ooh. Uh, so it's, it's uh, just like anything else. If we're think of something you've been doing since you're five. Shitting your pants or whatever. I don't jerking. Know. <laughs> jerking your shit. Beating your shit. You've been doing that since you're five. You still you got the discipline to do it. You I've don't got to talk I'm, yourself into doing it. 
It's not like, God damn it, I need to jerk. I haven't, like, oh, <laughs> I haven't done I've it. Been, I almost jerked before I came and saw you guys. A little oh, birthday yeah, jerk, yeah, a little jerk not? day. You gotta. <laughs> you gotta. I almost did, but I, I restrained myself. I need to let it build up. I could just blast my girlfriend with the car. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. When you got a girl, it's, you got to pull it back a little bit. Yeah. I, I haven't been pulling it back too much, fellas. The past oh, wow. few weeks, I've been... You've been pulling it off. I've been kind of jerking kind of hard. Ripping it I've off. I've been jerking yeah. a little hard, guys. Oh. I've been. Uh, you do the porn? X and XX, the oh, home page. Today's that. selections you is go what to it's the called. Page? Yeah, today's selections will have everything. If whatever you're in the mood for that day, a Latina bitch, a black bitch, Ooh. a white bitch, a fat bitch. Nice. Everything. Yeah, that is good. Now, do you do? Uh, I, 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 Second time you said do do. Do you do do <laughs> do? Um, you don't. Do you watch like gang bangs? Are you into that? Oh shit? hell yeah! Oh. Hell yeah! No, I don't. There's a porn star named Joanna Angel. I met her about a month ago, a Legion, or about a month and a half Shit. ago, at Legion of Skanks. That was nothing. I thought it was a B. <laughs> <laughs> it was a. I met her at Legion of Skanks, and I was like, I know who she is because she has a show on uh, uh, Gas Digital. Joanna yeah. Angel and uh, Small Hands called Just the Tips. Okay. And then I was like, Oh, she is a porn star. And then when I got home, I was like, Well. I just met her. I might as well look up. And the first thing was like a six on one gang. Man. And I was I like, well, watch hell that. yeah. I just shook hands with this lady. That shit's horrifying to me. I can't watch that. It's awesome. How long's that girl got? That's like a. Oh, there's a girl from Louisville. That's like I know a championship that. fight. That girl's got to take a little time off after that, right? I mean, I don't know. I think they're trained. That's like a battle. They're trained for the BBC arena. I think they just do some stretches, ice down, little ice pack, little oh, cut. Man. Look, a guy has a cut compress like the corner <laughs> yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. Like, Mashes it in, in her bay. pussy. Yeah, just mushes her pussy. Back in. <laughs> Come on. Geez. Cools it down. Cut, <laughs> cut me. Cools it down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, cools it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> She's like, ah. Yeah, hit me. Now I'm ready to go back in, Bring coach. the swelling down. Put it on my asshole, too. <laughs> you would just it's just like Rocky what we were talking about, right? Yeah. Should have thrown in the towel but then he kills him. Yeah. Oh my god, he's <laughs> fucked to death. What a turn of events. <laughs> Gang bang. That's had that's had to have happened, right? I think a girl got killed by a horse uh, dick, right? Oh yeah, but that's supposed to happen. A fear <laughs> a, per- a woman getting fucked by a horse. Yeah, that's good. If gonna... you make it out alive, that's like a fucking <laughs> holy shit. You're gonna get that's them. like fifty cent level. Oh yeah, you get shot nine times? Uh, yeah. Was it nine? He got shot nine times. Crazy. So you figure a big jacked grown ass man gets shot nine times, comes back. That's like the same as a as a petite woman getting fucked by a horse and living. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say it's a bad that's not like, equal size. So. It's like a one to one, right? So look, if 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 anybody out there knows any girls that have fucked a horse and still living, tell them to email fmtfpod at gmail dot com. We, we need to, we need this. We need, to, we need to talk to you, and we need to get you in uh, contact with Curtis Fifty Cent Jackson. And we'll get one of those c- colonoscopy fucking <laughs> cameras so we can in- investigate that cavern of yours. I'm gonna have Rolando looking on YouTube how to use a camera on someone's asshole. Yeah, I didn't yeah. throw that culo. Yeah. <laughs> Spanish dub. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've been trying to get Rolando to do a Spanish show with me. So, the the last part of of my uh, Papa John's birthday. The oh, part yeah, that yeah, makes yeah. it a little, uh, you know, shitty. I had like one or two pieces of that pizza. Everybody smashed it. No, I brought the rest of it home, and I was like, "Fuck yeah, I'm gonna eat that uh, tomorrow or whenever." And um, my dad housed it, <laughs> ate the whole fucking thing. Your dad's such a fat shit. I love it, dude. <laughs> Your dad's a fat, a fat foreign alcoholic. Dog, he is three for three on coolest shit. If you yeah. ask me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For sure. He's got some good sound bites for sure. Just last night, dude, it was hilarious. I was on the phone. <laughs> this is actually bad funny. I was on the phone with my mom for like 20 minutes, and she's sitting on the couch talking. We're on the phone, and I hear my dad like kind of in the background a little bit. Mm-hmm. And my mom's like, you want to talk to your son? And my dad's like, no, no, it's fine. I don't, we don't have to talk. It's okay. It's, we don't, uh, is he all right? As long as he's all right, is he all right? And my mom's like, yeah, he's doing fine. And he's like, all right, good. <laughs> it was hilarious. I mean, that's a dude for you. <laughs> he's like, it's fine. We don't have to talk. Is he cool? Is he asking for money? Yeah. No, cool. Hey, yeah. son. It is funny because when my sister would uh, not call or whatever, my dad would be uh, all up in arms about it. You do not love me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, yeah, kind of in that sense. So what do you got? You got a, you got another sister and a brother? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. My sister's technically a half sister. We got the same dad. Yeah, we got we got a bunch of that in my uh, my family. A bunch of people that aren't even the same dad or mom. They live there. Oh yeah. Because yeah, yeah. like maybe their 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 parent was on drugs or something. Oh sure. Like maybe in you know anyway. It's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Brought him around, helped him out. Well, it's like my stepdad's. Uh, somebody in his family had like an alcohol thing, so they took took somebody in for a while, right. and it just kind of stayed like that. Yeah, so yeah. it's like it was like his nephew, you know what I mean? Not like anything weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you, you have a sister. How old your sister? Um, fuck. Younger, Thir- older? She's older. Thirty. F- hold on, hold on. Thirty six. She's gonna be. How old your parents? Uh, my dad is sixty five. Oh, they're old as shit. And my mom is 60. My no. pe- yeah, my 60 right now. Yeah, I think yeah. my parents are like 10 years younger than yours. Yeah, probably. That's the case with most of my life. Huh. <laughs> All my friends, like, their parents are, I don't know, is regular your, fucking age. Is your brother younger than you? Yeah. How much? Well, how old is he? Seven years younger than me. Jeez. He's, uh, he'll be 20 this year. He's 19. Oh, my God. I have a brother. Oh, my God. Yeah. I have a brother just like that. My Dude, brother that North. Por- that Portuguese fucking sperm. My brother North is like the same. 46, I think my dad was when my brother was born. Or 45, something like that. And he's not retarded or anything? <laughs> huh, he's <it's> fine. <laughs> well, he is. I mean, a little. he's got ADD, so <laughs> he can't learn shit. He caught a little bit of it. <laughs> <laughs> he can't learn dick. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's great. That's um, funny. Yeah, we just send each other like uh, lyrics to songs, all day. That's kind of gay. We try actually. and like see if the other one knows it. And send the right ones back. Why don't you do that? I'm, I'm saying this gay, but you I was like, why don't you do that with me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why don't you do that with me, dog? Because I will win all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you, will, you know, it's sure. lyrics that are uh, accustomed to like you and your brother that you will know that you've probably listened to together, right? Or you yeah, just go yeah, random. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. for sure. Okay, I see. Cause Random's me my, tougher. Me and my bro will have uh, stuff like that. It's mainly with old Little Wayne mixtapes. Ah, yeah. How fucking good was that? What What were the name of? I mean, he had a bunch of them, right? Sorry for the wait. Oh, dedic- those were great. Dedications. Those De- were the big ones. Dedication two. Yeah. And I tell you, I tell you this. I know every single word to that mixtape. He had. I don't know if it's on dedication two. Ad libs and everything, pussy. But he uh, fucking pussy. <laughs> well, he said, "What are my favorite?" Song, uh, lines in a rap song. Um, it was the So Sophisticated remix. Mm-hmm. She's so sophisticated. She a catch a N words nut and refrigerated. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I would have okay. said that Sorry, if I was I alone it. in my house singing along to it. But, <laughs> <laughs> but we're out here. Y'all we know whenever you're doing the dishes and you're listening to old Lil Wayne mixtape, oh, you just yeah. let it fly. Oh, Millie, oh, Millie, oh, Millie, oh, Millie, oh, Millie. Hell yeah. He had another mixtape uh, series. Drought 3. Correctly. He had the drought. He had a little Louisiana mm. fire. Can't feel my face with Joel Santana. He Ice started cream bloody bathing eight crazy? tennis shoes. No time for pictures. No time for interviews. Mm. That guy goes forever. He says, He's note, clever on the, forever. note on the table. Pay me a day go. Yeah. Can't get the weight, then pay me in yayo. Oh. Save me the drama. Don't go run a snitch if that's your mama that I'm murky right in front of that bitch. He also said, um, he said, uh, all about my riches, my name should be Richard. Which I thought is kind of uh, like it, but <laughs> <laughs> which I thought that's was right. you, below him, you know. I like more, but that's good too. You need that too. You need. Damn, this thing's hurting my ass, dog. This rock, this stone. It literally is. How do you think this was? Why do you think this was even here? This, because it's protruding from the ground. They can't <laughs> move it, dog. There's a bigger one over there. Um, I, the migrants rocks. want jobs. Get these big rocks out of here and replace them with little. Replace them with little booths we can buy things at. Could you do that? Could well, you get, kiosks. Get, get rid of the. Replace this whole park actually with uh, with a mall. Can I we get it. some malls? Starbucks here, Apple Store there. Put like six Please. or seven malls on this. Yeah. Put your six or seven balls <laughs> on this. <laughs> yeah. uh, but right now my balls r- are cleaner shaven than my head. But anyway. Sorry I did. Ju- I just did a little trim too. I did a little trim myself. Yeah, I like them bare. You go bare? Hell no. Oh, I go bare. What about I you? I go everything. What bare. about you, Rolando? You go bare? You shave? Shave like no hair? 
down here? You keep some, keep some hair just trim? Trim? I got to know, Rolando, come here. I like to look down and feel 13 again. No, no, no. <laughs> 13 but with a big like a man schlong that's great so look Rolly, i gotta know about the <laughs> 13 with a man dick. we gotta be careful so i gotta know about <laughs> <laughs> yeah earlier we're like this is a bunch of just mad kids behind us <laughs> by the way i shave my balls and asshole clean all right <laughs> so i'm curious about mexican birthdays all right what so, happens there i don't know but at one point i did have a mexican girlfriend one time yeah named brenda <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Brenda Stevens. She's Mexican. No, no, no. <laughs> she had a her last name had a Z in it. Um, I just Martinez. I was killing an ant, so I guess oh, yeah. my, uh, I tried to light it on fire. Did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> but I just stomped it out instead. It was yeah, coming Holocaust. close. It was a big ant. Um, That's but me, no, big ant. Go ahead. At, at a Mexican party one time, I held the pinata and I like pulled it up and stuff. I did that. Now the pinatas. You ever held big? a pinata? Yeah. That's for the kids, not for you. It was yeah. a kid's birthday. <laughs> dumb shit. I was just helping. Okay. <laughs> yeah. For kids. And you give like dulceros, you know what it means? Chocolate? No. A bag full of uh candies and chocolates. Uh, and just for the kids. Like nice. you have a They have adult versions, like they put alcohol and drugs in there sometimes. They do that here. Yeah. Yeah. Um I don't know. Sometimes children parties turns into Adult. adults party. Oh, Every yeah. time. Yeah. So yeah, it starts like with the piñata and candies and that stuff, and then it finishes with your aunts and your uncles fighting for whatever. Yeah, fighting yeah, over a bag of cocaine. Or yeah, that. over yeah. A, the last bump of cocaine when it's <laughs> four forty-eight a.m. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The kids had fucking passed out sleeping. Uno más over. Pedro. Uno más. <laughs> Uno más Pedro. <laughs> That's great. But uh, so also. What's what's some traditions for besides a pinata? For your birthday. For my birthday, a cake. Well, that, I think that's uh, yeah. everywhere. I need something Mexican, asshole. Mexican. A Mexican cake. Mexican it's not cake. Carvel. Tres you get Carvel cake. Tres leches. Right. Tres leches is so good. That's that's. What I don't my like favorite. tres leches. Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> I hate you, man. That's so good. He said it agreeable. He's like, yeah, yeah, I don't like it. Because because <laughs> every everyone everybody uh, give you a. A trust with cheesecake, but I don't like that. You get sick of it. What do you want? I like ice cream cake. Ice cream cake, and also, I don't know if that exists here, but like a cake with uh, cream cheese and jelly. And sounds good. It, that sounds it's lovely. really good. It's they really should cream cheese it. and jelly. Yeah, cream cheese and jelly. I noticed uh, whenever Rolando went to the the store, he got a bagel with uh, cream cheese and jelly. Yeah, because ah. I like I like bagels and cream cheese and jelly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try that soon. And if that's together, it's, it's better. Okay. Yo, when I was when I was a kid, his English is all right. That's really good. I'm yeah. gonna get you a job. Can I get you a job? My what? I, I want you to work with me. We're gonna get, I'm gonna get you a job. You have? I know he already has a job. He does all this. But I'm gonna get Rolando a fucking good job. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, yeah. Jake. So, has your life been much better since you met me? Am I your great white hope? <laughs> yes. Yeah. I'm, I'm happier. Thank Jake you. rode in on a Kentucky horse. I'm the New York Tony Hinchcliffe. I'm putting people on. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Jake. Are you very gracious? I'm. <laughs> I'm. I am. <laughs> I love Rolando so much. He's yeah. the homie, bro. Yeah. He's such a homie. He comes here. He does this. We're not getting paid for any of this. We don't really make Thank money God. from this. We don't deserve it. I mean, what, we do what deserve is it. This? Cash app, money <laughs> sign, half baked Jake. Um. But we're all just uh, send money in the mail. Do it old fashioned. We'll get a PO box. Is what we should do. Send money in the mail. Fuck the tax man. That's the way it should be done. Send checks. Sure. Send me a handwritten blank check checks to Jacob Morris. Blank checks that you stole. Send those to us, please. <laughs> just send me the whole credit card. But I was saying like, we don't get paid for this shit. So I really appreciate like Antonio taking time out of his day to come. Yeah. He takes about an hour or two out of his day, but Rolando is a fucking MVP. Carries things, he comes to my house, makes sure he'll sit there and watch me edit. Antonio's out here jerking off. Stroking, okay. beating. Not like me. I That's d- what I was going to say. My day's no. already so jam-packed uh, and I, busy. I, I appreciate you doing this. No. Because we, it's, he's one of the only people <laughs> I can talk to for an hour and not really get annoyed by. You know what I mean? That's and, nice. And Rolando That's is just, he's the man. He's, I don't really want to. Because right. he'll, he's gonna do the walking tours with me. Yeah. Well, I want to buy. I want to buy a house on Rolando's family's property. 
I want to move an RV there or something and live. I do want to go to Mexico. No, I want to. I want to retire on his family's farm. Will you let me? Yes. Of course. That sounds. (coughs) Of course. Okay. Yeah. Can uh, can do you have a hot sister that we can have threesomes with me and my lady? (laughs) No, I don't. (laughs) Shit. Fuck it then. I'm not doing it. (laughs) I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. We're finding someone. How far are you? (laughs) How far is your family staying away from the beach? No, it's it's far. From From the beach, like three hours. Five. Ah, Five hours. I gotta be a little close. Cinco though. orders. That's not close. I gotta go to the beach. No, nope. I like the beach. Yeah, I like the beach too. Go to the beach, get covered in sand. Well, the sand is a big pain in the ass. It's everywhere. It stays around for you a piss week. Piss in the water. I like you ever, piss. You ever you ever you uh, ever leave the beach and your dick is all like hurt? No. That's happened to me a bunch of times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. And your dick huh. like I don't know the salt water or whatever attacks it. <laughs> <laughs> It's like you ever get like soap in your dick in the shower? Uh, it feels like that. In I know what that hole? is. Because I've jerked off with shampoo. Yeah, it's bad. Yeah, you learn not to do <laughs> that. <laughs> no, I haven't. Yeah, don't. You have. It's not good. Don't do it. Don't but jerk yeah, off with shampoo. But, but it's worse. Like it's the inside of your dick and it's the tip of your dick too. Like it's sensitive. Hmm. When you get bashed in the water, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, it's, I guess. Oh, you probably have a little abrasion. <clears throat> <clears throat> Must have been. Yeah, it was oh. painful. It was painful. But it happened to me and my buddy. At this, on the same day at the same beach. Rolando, it's because they were fucking and they gave each other gonorrhea. Yeah, we fucked the same girl <laughs> in the water. <laughs> <laughs> That's got to be bad, fucking a, puss, pu- fucking a pussy, a gonorrhea pussy in salt water. I've seen that some. That might actually be clean now that you say it out loud. <laughs> yeah. You clean it. You're like scrubbing it. I'm washing it. With yeah. the salt water. Get all the bad germs out. I hear this pussy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I hear this. You got to anoint it. Yeah, you turn into a pastor. Yeah. But I have come down. I've seen my boy heavens. Nick uh, bang a chick inside of a lake. They were in a lake. Into the water. Like leaning up against the dock. Yeah. That's Maybe they were just acting like they were fucking. That's nice. I like fucking in the shower. I'm down with that. I've done that a handful of times. It's all right. Yeah. But I'm, I'm always nervous. I am going to. Uh, You're going to slip? Yeah, dude. Most injuries happen in the bathroom. Most deaths. Yo. It's the most dangerous place in the house. How's the frame, Rolando? Good? It's the bathroom. Yo, so. Uh, I know. Every t- have you almost slipped in the shower? It's bad. I've slipped in the shower. Oh, you fell on the, on the thing after fucking. Right over That's the right. fucking right uh, through the shower curtain. <laughs> pulled the whole shit down. <laughs> on my back with the curtain on my face, my dick fucking <laughs> toward the sky, baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's great. That's handsome. Because that's handsome. It, it wasn't like a stand-up shower. It had a tub, so I fell over, tripped. You know. Wow, yeah. look at this guy. He's practicing. What is he practicing? I don't know. Nonsense. Huh, what is he doing? He's going to be an extra, like we were talking. He's going to get killed in the park. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I'm. Uh, this is something fun that I guess I can bring up. I'm going, yeah, you can. I'm going to uh, Canada. I'm going to Canada in June. Oh, nice. For what? Yeah. Uh, a buddy's house sitting. So he invited me and like three of our friends. Pretty irresponsible of him. No, it's very responsible because... Uh, the uh, the house is um, it's guarded. It's guarded by uh, villainous criminals. <laughs> villainous criminals. It's a it's a drug dealer's house that um, it's like high level Scarface type drug I don't dealer. Feel like we should be talking about this in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's uh, it's it's fine. It's so not, it's not that at all. <laughs> it's look. just some guy's house sitting and we're, he's bringing us along. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's not a drug dealer. No, not even close. Not really. Nice. Nerdy guy? Uh, no, he's just like a normal fucking guy. You, you know the he's guy cool that lives guy. in Canada? No, I don't know who that is. But Este- Esteban is the is the friend that's taken us. Can I? Shout out Esteban. Can I advise you against this? Why? I don't think this is a good idea. Why do you think that? Because he's you He's a friend. I know him. You know Esteban. Esteban. Yeah. But and look, the guy who owns the house isn't going to be there. Exactly. That's why it's concerning. Oh, you think he's setting us up? I don't think it's a good idea for you guys to be crashing this house sitting situation. I think it's going to get Esteban in some shit. I think no. it's going to get back to dude. I think one of the neighbors will be like, yeah, dog, it was like three or four motherfuckers over here. Oh. I didn't know you were having a party. Well, you didn't invite me? Boom. No, that's not going to happen. That doesn't happen. That happens. That's not going to happen. Not in Canada. Uh, is it a house or an apartment? I don't know. I know nothing about it. See? You don't know anything. All you're I just know gonna go we're, willy driving, willy? we're driving up. Fuck you. We're driving up. I'm, I'm too getting paranoid. a passport card, which we can also go to Mexico. We should do an episode in Mexico. Mexico? 
Mexico. You have a passport card? Um, pa- I think so. I have the real or the enhanced or the real one of them. I think I can go to. I think I can Continental, go. Continental, right? That's what I'm getting. Just I think I can go to Canada and Mexico. Yeah, that's. I, I have, have a passport I'm too. Getting one though. of those. Oh, okay, nice. But does that does the ID does it just work like you just go to the fucking airport and you're like boom, I'm going, like you don't need to apply for a visa. No, you just go to visit. Because I'm very confused. That's the visa is like if you're gonna live, if you plan on living. No, right? it's a travel visa. Yeah, but you're gonna be there for a while. Here's the. Th- Here's like the travel th- visa and you live there. Dog, this is the reason that why kid, I have remember Anno Gomes? We talked to that fucker. Anno, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got a travel visa, that right? That fucking guy. He uh, was what? What is he? Australian and Cape but, Verdean. Yeah, he's African and Australian, so he looks yeah. like half black. He looks like <laughs> Trevor Noah, but he speaks Australian. Yeah. It's so strange. And he didn't think... I was just spitting racist things at him all the time, which is awesome. You got him. Um, because he looks like a That's fucking important. freak show. Yeah. It's like two things. It's like a chihuahua fucking a pit bull. It shouldn't happen, dog. Hmm. But it does. It does. Which one's the pit bull? <laughs> Between the African and the Australian? <laughs> probably. I don't know. Probably the Australian. I had a, a funny conversation with that kid because he is Cape Verdean. I saw I saw him like a week later at the comedy club. I said what's up to him. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah, he came up for the open mic. He's Cape Verdean, and he was telling me how he had uncles who were, uh, who were involved in the struggle against Portugal because Portugal colonized right up until the 70s. They were Killing 1970s. And uh, I was like, oh, wow, that's interesting, because I had uh, an uncle that was murdering your, your family. Yeah. And, and also was, probably getting murdered, right? There was a lot of murdering going on on both sides? Back, yeah, back and forth, totally. But it was, you know. I can't get comfortable on this rock. It was long over, you know. Horrible idea. We should have went to a bench. <laughs> <laughs> Horrible idea. It's all right. Yeah, it is okay. But, um... This is your most uncomfortable birthday, probably. It's your fault. (laughs) It's because I'm next to you. Yeah. Oh, look at the doggy. Rolando's Rolando's been taking pictures of all the dogs that come by. Shaggy dog. She's going to fill up our Google Drive with that shit. See, but I don't want that thing in a restaurant with me. I don't. Hey, where are you guys from? I don't. Oh, it says it. Oh, nice. Whoop, whoop. All right. Hell yeah. Caught some chuckles in the park. There you go. Um, they look like they're juggalos too. They, they all the tattoos. They're white trash as fuck, aren't they? Yeah, right. You can that's say they can't hear us. I'm like whispering into the mic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like uh, Warwick right there. That's, oh, really? That's like Warwick, Rhode Island. Those people. I hit them with a whoop whoop, and they hit it back immediately. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, white trash. I like it. That's a uh, that's a juggalo thing. Yeah. yeah. It's like their it's like their bat signal. No, I don't know shit whoop, about whoop. it. I remember being a kid listening to ICP just for the novelty of it because I thought it was hilarious. I'm Mr. Happy and I ride a bike. Ching. I don't have a seat. I just sit on the pipe thing. (laughs) (laughs) See, he knows. Murder, murder, murder. murder. Happy, happy, happy. But I uh, (laughs) went to the gathering of Juggalos like three or four years ago. Oh, wow. Do you have a tat? A Juggalo tat? No. But you wouldn't get one for that? Um, Probably not. I'm like, um, probably not. It was a... Great. The Dead is is the only band you have? Yeah, they've they stood the. I'm not saying the ICP hasn't stood the test of time. Right. But Grateful Dead has stood the test of time with me. Yeah. With me, that's just me. Rolando, you had some bad birthdays. <laughs> you ever had any good, good or bad birthdays? Any bad birthdays? Like, your family got kidnapped by the cartel. Do you know any cartel? <laughs> no, he said no. He can't say if he does. I know. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, bro. I'm not trying to jam you up. I'm not trying to get your family you know who's, house burnt down. You know who uh, who's going to be performing in what's right, the Rolando, stadium in Astoria? <laughs> what's the stadium in Astoria? Primus is there tomorrow. Um, Neil Young. Old man, take a look, look at, at my, my cock. <laughs> it's a lot like <laughs> yours. <laughs> <laughs> I know he said that. I've been searching for a cock of gold, yeah. Mm-mm, and I'm getting old. Always at least one sing along. You can you can get that. We've had a few this this time. This guy gets he he gets me. Yeah. Did he just wave his camera his hand in front of the camera? Yeah. I hope he did. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell he's not getting That's paid. Right. We're just getting like, <laughs> <laughs> we're just getting laid back. It's not a show if we don't make fun of the intern, right? Yeah. That's what, <clears> hey, I get it. I get it all the time, bro. You yeah, you gotta. You yeah, gotta you got to do it. 
You gotta do it. But it is my birthday, and I gotta keep this fucking party trucking. I gotta go to work later. I gotta do a bunch of shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? So what I want you guys to do is I want you guys to subscribe and Please. like and share and do everything cool. Share with a friend, actually. That really helps. That's I want you important. to go watch a little podcast called The Smoking Simeon. Yes. It's do his that thing. One too. It's his thing. He has mad videos. Tons and needs, tons and he tons. He needs more subscribers. Tons. tons. It's actually been, it's, I think, I mean, I'd have to guess it's from a He's little bit He's getting the from this. me till Friday. Boom. I'm getting a little bit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's getting the Jake bump, dog. Yeah. That's what happens. No, it's good. The Jake bump is crucial. I'm it's like, going to be good. We got some uh, fun stuff planned for the uh, for the summer as well. Not the, damn, that's a big ass dog. <laughs> That's a big ass. <laughs> yes. As well. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. But yeah, smoking Simeon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff uh, going to be happening in the summer, not necessarily with the podcast, but some other shit that Billy and I are working on that mm. you, you'll probably get involved in as well. We mentioned it last time. I would love to. I would love to. I'm so. working on a press pass so I can do Front Me Till Friday stuff behind the scenes. Like, uh. I'm going to try to get like real close. Press pass. I'm gonna, Official press business. Do you ever see the video of uh, of that guy that does that and he mm. makes it super official like he gets behind the scenes at he was behind the scenes i think at like mayweather mcgregor press press conferences yeah, dog, I'm, i just applied for the real one through new york city yeah yeah i just applied for the real oh, one nice. as a freelance journalist oh, i sent them six episodes cool. of our podcast entitled it new york city info and history that's pretty cool hmm? hopefully they don't listen to him <laughs> <laughs> welcome the fuck back to from me till friday <laughs> we're out here beating our shit but it does help us that we're outside at parks and they can see that. Yeah. yeah. So maybe we are broadcasting. That we, do, that we do talk to people, you know. Uh, yeah, we do. We ask them, hey, you suck dick. You yeah. Like you want to suck dick? Yeah. What do you think about sucking dick? <laughs> what What do you think is the inherent nature of sucking dick? And why do we as humans suck dick? <laughs> you just What's get real deep. What's the deal with sucking dick? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but anyway, we got to keep this uh, uh, keep this thing rolling, train, keep it rolling all night long. Ooh. Um, but yeah, peace might out. Be my favorite Aerosmith song. All, all right. right, sorry, I didn't know you were ending. No, I don't know. I don't know. If we are. I'm, I'm horrible at this. We're just doing the damn thing. I don't know. I don't know. When do you have to leave? I'm east. I'm west. <laughs> and who's gonna know you, girl? Oh yeah, you gotta leave soon, right? I do gotta leave. I do gotta leave. Anyway, yeah. anybody want to plug anything else? No. Uh, plug my ass. Yeah, get a get a find a woman and plug her ass or or a man, whatever you like. You heard it here, folks. <laughs> All right. Peace.